Hey guys, we have a really fun one for you today. We're going to be reading Proverbs 17, uh, verse 12. It says, Let a man meet a she-bear robbed of her cubs rather than a fool in his folly. And this is why we love Proverbs, right? Right next to the very spiritual instruction is this incredibly practical note that just says, Look, sometimes you're going to meet a fool a fool who's just stuck right in the middle of their foolishness, right? They are doing that thing and you know, you know, it's this person where you think of them like, all right, what, they're going to come around and they're going to be just with their teeth buried in their favorite brand of foolishness. And Proverbs says, when you meet a person that's like that, they're in the middle of doing their thing and you know it's going to make a mess. You know it's going to create heartache for them and everyone around them. Proverbs basically says, look, that's kind of dangerous. You'd better stay away right? I don't know if you've ever been out hiking or, uh, you know, you're camping or something and you see a she bear or you see a bear's cub, right? And what does everybody always tell you? Look, it's cool if you see the bear. It's cool if you see the bear with her cubs. But if you just see the cub and you can't see the bear, you've got a problem, right? One time we were backpacking in Colorado. I remember we saw a little bear cub, maybe, you know, uh, quarter mile, half mile away, and he was running along this ridge. And we definitely did a bunch of looks to see, hey, wait, 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 does anybody see the bear, right? You don't want to get in between those two things. And if you were to see that, if you were to say, oh, there's a bear, and hey, over there, there's this cub, and we're in between, your first instinct would not be to try and resolve that situation in any way other than to just get out of there, right? Let's stay out of this. This is none of our business. Let's not get involved between this mom bear and her cubs, right? In the same way, it's using that illustration on purpose to give you an explanation of what our response should be when we get involved in a situation where a person, a fool, is in his folly. Meaning they are in the middle of that foolish thing that they want to do. And sometimes our response, right, can be, all right, I'm going to, let's wait in there and let's tell them what they need to do. And let's tell her that she's got to stop doing this. And let's have this argument with them again. And Proverbs says, hey, you know what? It's not good to meet that she-bear that doesn't have her cubs around her, and it's also not good to meet that fool in his folly. Why don't you go ahead and take a look around and see that that's coming up the road and say, no, not today. I'm not going to get involved in that. I'm not going to go there with her. I'm not going to go there with him. I'm not going to have start that conversation because I know that what's going on right now is they are in their folly. Now, the thing about Proverbs is it gives us these guardrails, right? There'll be other times in Proverbs where it gives us instruction on how to correct someone. And that's just as important, right? There's balance. And the Holy Spirit is going to tell us when to take these steps and when to step in and when to not. But you just need to know that biblically, it's totally okay to see somebody in the middle of that sinful foolishness that they might be involved in and to say, you know what? I've prayed about this and today is not a day to get involved. We're going to avoid this. We're going to step aside. We're going to let that situation resolve itself. And I don't need to be there. I don't need to be involved in that. I don't need to descend to that level to try and wrangle it out with a person who's so stuck in this mindset or this foolish action that they're taking that they're not ready to hear from me today. I'm going to wait until they're not in their foolishness. And then I'm going to go ahead and have that discussion with them. So it's just an important reminder. There's some situations where it's better to just step away and let that situation resolve itself. And then you can come in later and the Lord might give you an opportunity to speak into that person.